recently i uploaded a video on how to sculpt lips it was a one minute short video and i get a pretty great response from everyone that start creating start, start sculpting like nose eyes and that kind of stuff so i'm here with the video it's not one minute video it's five minute video but it's completely step by step and it's really helpful for beginners so everyone can follow okay so it's going to be creating the nose and if you want to see the lip sculpting in one minute you can check my youtube channel and you can go to the short videos you can find that here and uh, if you want to see this video in a short video in one minute so i will be uploading it by tomorrow or yesterday yeah so uh, let's get started okay so first of all we have a cube and let's s x and scale it like this and now control a apply scale and rotation and come up here right click go to the edit mode and subdivide this thing and after subdividing uh, come up here and make this 100 so it's dense like this and now come up here and go to the sculpting and to the front view it's not the front view so let's just rotate that with the 90 degree and apply rotation and scale now let's come up here to the sculpt mode come up here and turn off the grid so we don't see that thing okay i'm using this mouse and also uh, for the lip sculpting i use the most because it's the most basic things uh, actually you don't need to have a expensive pen tablet or a display tablet even with mouse you can pretty much follow it okay so i turn on the mirror and i have a draw brush and simply with control and left click with not control with just simple left click you can just make some this kind of line and that's what we need it also you can just pull this area here to just like make this kind of like shape for uh the face face kind of thing okay and now i will come up here and pick up the grab brush by clicking g and you can just drag this thing here not too much but something like this and make sure this area is completely pulled like this and that's what we needed okay the next thing that i really need is shift c and push this area downward so it looks like this and for here you can just as you see i'm just trying to max this kind of area and now with the draw brush you can just simply pull this area and pull this area and that's how we are going to begin okay with the crease brush crease brush you can just straight this area and define this shape more something like this and also pull this area okay one another thing that we immediately we need to do is to like pick up the blob brush or end flat brush both are useful and try to make this kind of cute circle thing that is really helpful and from the down it should be like curved like this and now shift c and again try to like make it like this okay for the rest of it i would just like to like down this area so we can see things better it's actually just for that otherwise uh, no need it for nose i'm just trying it for myself so the things looks more okay okay uh, with the draw brush i can just make this place here like this and smooth it a little just trying to like add some volume and then smoothing it out okay now it's time for the nostril here I, i'm sure it's called nostril and let's make this like this And now here I now as you notice that it needs some more uh, topology some more mesh to continue so um, 
this come up here and add one more subdivision make this two and apply that with control a and we have pretty much enough this thing okay so with the crease brush with control selected with control pressed i can just define this area okay so that's it for an organic one for an organic nose you can actually smooth this a little uh, actually that's it okay uh, one more thing that i would like to do is to like uh what i can do is that from the top view i just need to like bend this so select it something like this side view try this so the face isn't that flat and it looks more organic and natural the final thing that i would like to do the nose is complete but i just like to like make it a little bit stylized so what i can do is that with the crease brush that you have i just added some lines like this okay this thing and that's it i pretty much like it this is how to do it in 